it's always a special week, but especially here at Muirfield, the golf course is uh, fantastic. You know, it's, it's unlike any British Open I've played in before, where there's balls bouncing everywhere. It's really firm. It's really fast. Um, the course is in fantastic shape. Um, the greens are some of the best I've seen. Um, up, you know, last year they were fantastic with them, but these are just as good. And uh, so it's the Open Championship, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I loved growing up watching the Open on TV. I liked how different it was from what I was used to seeing. Playing in a few of them now, I, I appreciate it. I have a lot more appreciation now than I did probably the first time I played. I realized the nuances and um, the different shots you need to hit and how uncookie cutter this kind of golf is. I mean, there's, there's not one way to hit any shot. And I, I, I love that. I think, it's, I think it brings out some imagination. And um, it's a lot of fun to play this kind of golf. You don't get to do it very often. So when we do have a chance, I try to enjoy it. And I always try to find a spot for the week to go have a few pints and, and enjoy the, the, the locals and, and have a good time with some friends. You know, this is, turns into kind of a guy's week. You know, this is uh, with, you know, you're traveling with your agents, your caddy, your, your swing instructor. So you end up hanging out with them all week, having some fun, seeing other guys out there. And uh, it's great. You know, it, it's, it's different for us out here. You know, I'm only, normally training with my family and young kids. And, um, to be a kind of a guys event where you're having a few pints at night and having a great time is fun, something different. Well, it's very straightforward. You know, it's right in front of you. Um, you, you know when you hit a good shot, you get rewarded. and hit a bad shot, you're going to pay a penalty. Um, I'm not saying that's not true of most British golf, but just this one seems more so like that. There's not bunkers in the middle of fairways. There's not – it's very defined areas where you need to hit it. And, and it's um, – but now how you get that ball in that defined area is up to you. And uh, – there's a great mix of holes. You know, I feel like I hit every, I mean, I chart what I hit in practice rounds. I hit every club in my bag every day. I mean, the first day, I think I I probably hit it over 80% of the greens, trying to land them somewhere near the front of the green. They were one hopping over the greens and going hard in the rush. You know, it takes you a while to get adjusted how far the ball's running out. And mm -hmm. I'm realizing you can't work the ball with the wind here. You know, that's a big thing. Um, you know, America, or where, where, yeah, in America, playing golf, working the ball with the wind's normal. You just kind of work it with it. Over here, it's so strong, you can't do it because you lose control over it. So, Getting used to working up against winds and trying to keep the ball in the fairway and, and keeping the ball low. It's just, just very different. I've learned a lot in the last four majors, really, um, since then. You know, playing with Tiger last year on Sunday, I, uh, you know, I learned a lot watching him play around this golf around with him. Um, learned a lot from watching Adam win at the Masters and learned a lot from watching Justin the first two days at the U.S. Open um, where he went on to win about just the patience that's required, you know, and, and the process you have to go through and how. Um, unimportant each individual shot is, but when you add them up, they are all extremely important. And, and finding that delicate balance of how to treat each shot. And uh, the hardest thing to do in, in a major championship is be patient for 72 holes and never push the panic button. And it's a guy that wins this week will not do that. You know, will we'll never hit the panic button, but you know, there's gonna be a lot of guys that do, and it's just hard to keep yourself from doing it. You know, you, you've got to play a completely different style of golf. You, you know, you're gonna hit shots that go 50 yards offline. It's just. I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. You get a ball working with the wind when you've tried to hell it up, and it's going to be a, end up in a horrible spot. Whereas in the States, it might hit in a bunker, it might be 10 yards off the green here, it's going to be 50 or 60 because there's nothing to stop it. So uh, it's just different. You know, you're going to hit some horrible golf, what look like horrible golf shots that really aren't that bad. And, uh, you know, being patient enough to realize everybody's going to do it and it's going to be okay. It's not going to be the end of the world. You know, that, that's really tough to do because you feel like every shot's so important in majors.